there's a lot of, I mean, there's some really fantastic breweries, some fantastic, like, microbreweries, Absolutely. folks that are putting really cool stuff on the taps. Absolutely. The fact that y'all set up shop and you're tossing coffee beans and, and honey mm -hmm. and your candy into <laughs> what it is that you're making is extremely unique. Yeah, and we have that flexibility because we, we opened without the, um, like, without intending to immediately distribute. So like distribute is a goal that we have, but not necessarily within the first year, maybe two years, I don't know. Yeah. But so we're, we're just focusing on selling our beer right now out of the tap room. Um, and because of that, we get to, uh, we're very flexible. You can play. Absolutely. Exactly. Because exactly. It, if I understand correctly, it's not like you have three things that you have to pump out yep. 20,000 gallons of every, yep. every exactly. quarter. Yep. You can actually kind of screw around and enjoy yourself and say like, man, if it doesn't work, then hey, that's okay. I, I came from the world of <clears throat> yeah. consistency brewing. Yeah. And it does get a little boring, truthfully, especially when you're the guy trying to write the recipes. <laughs> but um, having that flexibility, a lot of other breweries are doing very interesting things also, absolutely. Um, the only problem is that maybe their bandwidth is push more towards making sure those first three beers taste exactly correct sure. yeah. every single time. That's really hard to do. Okay. It really is so hard to do. There's so many facts that change. Like everything from how rainy was it this year, because that'll affect how the barley grows. Yeah. How, uh, when did the temperature drop in the hop growing regions? All of a sudden, what you thought was citra now tastes more like a different hop. And you're like, well, we have to make an adjustment to that. Mm -hmm. So since it's all based on like this uh, agriculture, uh, almost economy, it changes year to year. So to make something that tastes exactly the same every single time. That's actually extremely tough. Oh, it's yeah. so hard. There's so much equipment that goes into it, so much yeah. manpower. There's a lot. It's so a lot. what we're doing <clears throat> also like allows us to make room for mistakes because like we can make a batch of, you know, 15 kegs of beer and if the, the yeast company mislabeled a yeast, so we put the wrong yeast in the beer, you know, we're just like, well, we just what is it? it? Let's yeah. see what it tastes like. What happened to us like two days ago? Yeah, yeah how did that we're go? Pivoting now. <laughs> how many gallons? What's the flavor? Uh, so, ten barrels on each, so it's a big batch. Ten uh, barrels is like they both taste good. How many so, beers? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Ten barrels is thirty-one. Uh, one barrel is thirty-one gallons, and so one of those big fifteen-gallon kegs. That you okay. Find hard to pick up. Uh, those two, two of those equal one barrel. Okay. So for a ten barrel, I've got twenty kegs worth, which. Coming out of the tap room, I think we're selling at about 10 barrels a month, which is great for us because we love yeah. it. Um, ooh, excuse me. But... <laughs> you got beer. that, Mia? We're drinking beer! Yeah. That red. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you ordered these two different Yes, I ordered two different yeasts, and uh, they were a little mislabeled. That's okay, because honestly, they both taste pretty good. <laughs> now, they're, now they're a little more experimental than I expected yeah. them to be, yeah. but that's kind of for the fun of it. That's kind of the joy of it. Yeah. Right, because these big brewers are making the exact same mistakes, but instead of it being something they can just pivot off of, they either have to blend it in, try to make it disappear, Yeah. the worst case scenario is when they have to dump it, and that sucks. That totally sucks. Yeah, so we were like, today we were kind of like, we could really taste, you know, the, the yeast kind of affecting the beer. Uh, and I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> things, yeah. aren't, things aren't playing out right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so like I said, we're just going to run with it. We're going to be like, hey, everyone, like, look at this different IPA. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a modified version of which right. your stock tap is. Right. And that's another reason why I love being so close to the other breweries is that I can see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And then directly next door, I can do be a little different. <clears throat> yeah. And then they're special, we're special. It works out for everybody.